Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we were having a night of reflection here on Bullis' tree above his pumpkin home. We can't really do much about Kalinka being in danger right now on account that the one and only ship we know of in this world is kind of missing. So we kind of need to figure something else to do here. Meanwhile, we're having this conversation with our hero Bolas, who is apparently in love with in love with the healer cleric lady Tessera. Oh, so that's it. Yeah, I can understand why. She is definitely uh definitely else. Did I miss a word there? Even Princess Rachel would find it difficult to compete with her. <laughs> well, I mean, um... Uh, besides the fact that, you know, Princess Rachel kind of dead right now. But anyway, this seems sort of strange, telling this to humans from Earth. For one, considering they do not even exist in your world, I cannot suppose you'd be able to understand one's being in love and elf. A creature that is not human. Oh boy, if Bolas knew about the furry fandom. And on top of that, such inward struggles as one's being in love are not normally shared in words between a human and a dwarf who have not been friends but for less than a month. Yeah, but I don't mind. It does not matter to me whether we have been friends for very long or not. With all you Elvenians... Yeah. With all you Elvenians do for us for and each and other, I think it's only right that I give up just a few minutes to try to understand one of their problems for a change. Harrison's laugh. Harrison laughs. <laughs> Listen to me. I am beginning to sound just like an Elvenian. Dusk was right. You all are a heck of a lot different from most everyone on the Earth. And being around Elvenians long enough changes a man to become a softer person. That was made quite obvious with me alone just now, wasn't it? I'll take that to mean you think we are a good influence on you, then. Gruff laugh. But just let me tell you this. Don't be so surprised or ashamed for feeling the way that you do about Tessera, regardless of the racial differences. For one, everyone's falling in love with everyone else in this world, it seems. I've only been in Elvenia for like four or five weeks, and I've already... Uh, and already, I can name at least three people off the top of my head who I've seen come down with a serious case of love sickness for someone else. Besides, in anything, your love for Tessera could only be seen as a positive thing in the eyes of elves and dwarves who might have come to lose their trust in one another. I am certain that this whole conflict between your brethren and the humans and elves up north will quickly blow over, especially if you try to carry on Lisa Winter's work in making that so. I certainly can't believe in the possibility of Elvenians ever coming to actually hate each other. You think too highly of us. No Elvenian's heart is completely void of some form of darkness. That wasn't even entirely true before the day when the Lord of Darkness came to our world and brought servants from the Abyss with him to rise against her. Yes, but the light still prevails here, just as it did in the days before Elvenia's innocence became threatened, and the four of us Earthlings will do our best to help keep them from losing their faith as they try with all their heart to stand and hold up that faith against the face of the darkness that tries to rob them of it. We're not going to let your world be taken into the shadows as well, like the Earth has, Bolas. You can be rest assured of that. But Les appears to be in intense thought for a few moments, then he gazes back up with a defiant face. Now how can I Now, Now I can come to a decision without any trace of doubt that I will end up regretting it, now that I have heard these words from you. There actually is one way that I have thought to 
thought of to reach Kalinka. Yet at first I was reluctant to tell you all because of the danger involved. But now I know in my heart for certain that there is nothing that can stop you guys. And so I will tell you. About 60 miles almost directly west from here is a small kingdom near the coastline known as Ethan. And on the very outer boundaries of that kingdom lies the entrance to some abandoned mines that stretch all the way underneath the ocean to the northwest. And once you arrive from the opposite side, you will be just a short distance southeast of the tundras. And just beyond them, of course, lies your Kalinka. And then I will be able to help save them. Yes. But be warned, the Ethan Mines are filled with all manner of lurking evil, and they are just as powerful as the monsters in Ebony Fields or those that were in Gorkin's army. Uh, of course it is. Well, I've definitely gotten stronger since we were at Ebony Fields, so monsters like that should be easier. Still though, oof, that petrification. I know, however, that your spirits will be strong enough to overcome them if you all just try your best. Thanks, man. We'll definitely make it through alive and save the Klinkins. We're not going to fail this time. Suddenly, mysterious voice. Oh, but I believe there's someone else here who has a different opinion on that. Oh gosh, that is a bright exclamation mark. Uh, stop it. Uh, dim those. Somebody dim those. What? Where did that voice come from? We got ourselves a partially concealed elfish stranger. I believe that the voice of your destructor would belong to none other than I, dwarf scum. Are you one of the monsters who have appeared in Elvenia since the Lord of Darkness' arrival? Just who are you? I will not condescend to give my name to an Elvenian, thank you. But I will enjoy telling you this. I was the one responsible for the sending of your cowardly friends from the Leviathan fleet to the bottom of Poeska's lake during the pathetic battle that not even Gorgon's worthless army of dim-witted ogres could handle on their own. Oh, so you're the one we want to punch. The elf dressed in black that Paprika told us about. You're dressed in black? Seems kind of yellowish to me, but sure. Oh, you just crashed a wrong party, pal. We've just been waiting to get payback for what you did. Bullis draws his axe. Sounds like the ideal plan to me, Harrison. The elfish stranger laughs. Ha! This won't even be a challenge. Prepare to meet your goddess. And I believe this is where the other three devilishly handsome heroes from Earth are summoned into the picture. Mr. Bullis, if this ruffian happens to be one of the Lunas Elru Knights, then please stand back and allow us to take care of him ourselves. Bullis steps back. Uh, watch your step there. You don't have wings. I understand. Good luck, kid. Hmph. Four opponents against me alone, huh? Good. I have absolutely no problem with the odds at all. Oh, you're a centaur? What is a centaur doing up in a tree? Okay, Elf Stranger. According to the guy that has come with this game, he has no elemental weakness, he has 2,500 HP, so, um, this won't, this may not actually be easy here. Uh, let's see here. What to start with? Dusk, do you still have the thing that hits twice? Can't remember. Well, 
Dust is probably going to be on healing duty, so let's boost Uri's attack, actually. While we're at it... Anything of interest with you? Just in case, boost your... No, no. Just go ahead and throw an attack at that. Lin... Lower his guard. No, wait, that's boosting somebody's guard. Where's the lower guard one? No, wait, you don't have the lower guard. I think that's Harrison. How about... Well... Do this! And Harrison... Guard minus 12, attack minus 15... Let's go ahead and see if we can lower the Elf Stranger's guard. See what we're dealing with, I guess, here. Hazy Moonbeam. We have that attack. What was that attack? Don't know. Go ahead and throw in a Thunder Blade. Hazy Moonbeam. I know one of us has that attack. I feel like it. I'll do that. There it is. Attack down. Yeah, you're going to have to not do that. But Harrison will. Okay, if this guy is just going to lure our attack a whole bunch, then... Perhaps we should focus on physical attacks. Or magic attacks, rather. Let's use lots of magic. And do this. Just cause. Although he seems to be resisting debuffs at the moment. Oh, he does have a strong attack there. I do want to make one more attempt at lowering that attack. I wonder if he has any magic on hand besides Hazy Moonbeam. Okay, I don't think I'm lowering his attack, so... Let's just toss off all of our magic on him. While boosting Lin's attack, because he's almost out of MP. This guy definitely is not putting up much of a fight. Let's also boost Dusk HP. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I knew he had to have some other attack on him. Ow. Okay, just in case, Uri, go ahead and eat some fish. And Lin, or Dusk, time to start healing. Uh, jokes on you, I had previously raised Lin's attack, so now you just made it neutral. Uh, Harrison, perhaps? Yeah, let's go ahead and restore a bit of that MP for Dusk. I don't think I need to worry too much about this situation, so just a weaker MP heal. Dusk, that was unfortunate.
That was nice. Anything else that would be really good against him? Gonna guess not. Just attack then. I mean, you have an opportunity to heal us a bit more. Hmm, regular attack. And Boosalin's attack back up. And then we're gonna do that with Uri, because that's gonna be annoying. This guy is thankfully not tough, aside from that one attack, but thankfully he doesn't seem to use it very much. Love them crits. Ah, uh, go ahead and attack now. Okay, considering how much health he has, feels kind of important to make sure our attacks don't don't get too weak. Perhaps a new plan of action. Well, first things first. Harrison is using up a lot of his HP to do this boosting. Oh crap, there's that again. Okay, uh, uh, are you able to heal all? No, of course not. New plan, bigger heal. And Harrison, heal Uri. Why do you get to go first this turn? That's not cool. You weren't supposed to go first. Should have lowered his uh, agility some more. Okay. Um. Suddenly, I'm in danger. I don't know when Liz go when Lin is gonna go, but taking a chance here, that Dusk will go before Lin. And Harrison hopefully goes before dusk. Okay, all that armor that I gave dusk is certainly helpful there. Okay, we're back in a situation where I can kind of recover here. Dead yet. More healing, please. And ah, oh, that would that would be it. Shoot. Um. Well, goodness is, Lin uh, Dusk gets another chance to attack. Just for funsies, boost Dusk's attack. Never mind, he's dead. Yay! Oh, lear we learned a new tech from that fight. Okay, uh, let me make note of that.
Every new tech. I'll have to check that when I get the chance. Boy, that's a nice amount of experience. Oh, and of course we got an item from the fight. Parapai Scarf. Um, what? Impossible! This couldn't have been faded by the goddess herself. Nah, just by the king's creators. Huh, suddenly a little brighter out. I guess uh, morning is coming. You should have already known. You will not be able to stop someone who is determined to come to the aid of the people he is indebted to. No matter how much you might try. Alright everyone, before that bizarre middle elf guy broke in last night, I had managed to formulate an idea for... We know already. All three of us were actually wide awake for most of the night, so we heard nearly everything you and Harrison had talked about. The way back to Lelia was through some caverns to the west, right? Well then, I guess there is no need to say anything further. Other than this, are you four truly resolved to go on so dangerous a journey, despite how powerful the demons roaming Ethan are? There is no doubt that you will have to fight through many of them before you can hope to reach Lelia. If it's to return the favor to the ones who have shown much kindness to us in the past, then yes, it is worth it. There will be no need for you to worry about us at all, Bolas. Yes, you have your own struggle to face now, Mr. Bolas. Please take care of everyone in the Holy City for us, especially Miss Jersey, okay? I know. And you just make sure to protect little Sarah, kid. She's counting on you. I will. Being in love isn't something I would fail to be serious about. And you mustn't either. But Liz says with a laugh, I guess you all overheard the big confession from last night too, huh? Well, no red-blooded dwarf is meant to bless about these things like most humans and elves do, so I'll be sure to do as you suggest for Mr. Sarah. So you too had better be sure to be truthful with Sarah once you save her. Got it, kid? Dusk looks down. I... I will. Oh, I almost forgot. Would you like to see the new weapons I have made just to make sure you are prepared before you go? Uh, new weapons? Oh, it's the same stuff. Uh, I don't know if I really want to grab the Onyx bow. I'd like to find that other bow instead, so I'll keep the one that we have right now. That said, I will definitely buy some of these. Like five of those, and... F Hopefully I don't regret this. Fifteen ether sales. And I don't care about the shields. I am pleased to assure you all that I have managed to determine Grandis Marwin's position in Elvenia relative to ours, and it seems that he is no lo no closer to Kalinka than we are as of now. So at least we know for certain that it is not already too late. Huh, interesting. I guess uh, at some point during the night you went searching for him? Really? You able to do that, Prian? Well, I will admit that my current level of magical power scarcely made it possible for me, but after lying awake all night like Mr. Boles, trying to find a way, I finally succeeded. We must hurry, though. I believe Grandis became aware of my presence also when I had found him, and I could very strongly feel an aura of intense hatred and bloodlust from him. I think he is quite seriously this time in bringing death to his intended victims, so we dare not take him as lightly as we have been prone to do in the past. He's not pulling around this time, so we must be prepared for a desperate battle. And if by sensing Priang Grandis had guessed of our plans to try to make a Kalinka before him, then he most definitely will be hastening his little sightseeing trip through Lelia in order to make certain we do not interfere with his plans yet again. 
Let's go, you guys! Still, despite the pressure of time, I really want to go see Jersey and make sure that she is okay. I just wish I did not have to worry about Kalinka also at the same time. Farewell, farewell Bolas. Yes, Godspeed, my friend. It is interesting that the word Godspeed exists in this world, considering that this world is watched over by a goddess. Shouldn't it be Goddess Speed? Well, anyway, the game has offered us an opportunity to save, which means it is an opportunity for me to go ahead and bring this stream to a close. Before everybody runs off, is there anybody I am following that is streaming right now? Nope. Nobody to send a raid to. So I will simply say, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.